Join us now to look at the unfortunate incident is a security expert, Dennis Amakri. Good evening, uh, Dennis Amakri. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Now, quick one. This mishap is one of too many. It has become a reoccurring decima. Don't you think that the security agencies should have worked with a reliable human intelligence report on ground before any offensive attack which would have prevented the death of these innocent citizens? I agree with you. I agree with you personally because um, I think it's uh, either intelligence failure for us to have this kind of uh, casualty. And uh, of course, um, there was also uh, some lack of cooperation between um, the Nigerian Air Force and uh, the Nigerian Army. Although I know that there is a flying wing among the uh, Nigerian Army, just like you have in the Navy. But um, I think it has been agreed that uh, most of this kind of operation against bandits is going to be joint operations. What should the government do to nip in the bud this national and international embarrassment? Because everybody seems to be talking about this incident across the world. What should the government do to nip in the bud this incident? There are two major things that could happen. First of all, one is to strengthen our intelligence uh, uh, structure, our intelligence infrastructure, and uh, that should come um, in the sense of um, trying to get uh, some of the uh, locals, some of the locals on ground to be working with the uh, security forces. And then number two is that um, we, I believe, I want to believe that um, the, the, the new technology that is being used, uh, those uh, predator drones that are being used, uh, there should be more training on them so that um, you know exactly what is happening. You, 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 you talked about locals. How can this prevent anything? Locals being on the ground, how would they, be, how would they communicate with the military guys, I mean, the, the army, whilst to prevent this kind of issue. I'm, I'm looking at you talking about being on ground locals. What could they have yeah, done differently? Know, um, this, this particular thing we uh, are engaged in, this insurgency, banditry, and all the rest, um, involve locals. And in fact, this particular situation that we are talking about is where the bandits have used human shield. They are using the public, the, the, the citizens, as human shield. They go and mix up with the, you know, uh, locals. And then in case you attack them, then you also will attack um, uh, ordinary, ordinary citizens. So we need to talk to locals. We need to have agents on ground, you know, uh -huh, to uh, um, uh, cultivate some of them in such a way that if there is an attack going to preeminent uh, attack that is going to happen, then they should be able to transmit it to, you know, the 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 uh, the control center where the attack started, and then of course they will also learn how to isolate isolate the terrorists from the bandits, uh, the terrorists from the public. So these are things to be done. And when you do that, then you will know that whichever attack you carry out is carried out uh, precisionally. There have to be serious precision, especially when you are dealing with uh, predator drones. OK, the military announced a compensation plan for the diseased families well know that no amount can wipe out the indelible trauma on the families who have lost their loved ones to this ugly and unfortunate mishap. What kind of compensation plan do you think uh, the government can put in place that will go a long way and bring some side, sort of succor to the families, the affected families? Uh, one thing is this, um, you know, the, even the, even the uh, natives that were there, the community people there, we're not actually looking for um, uh, compensation. 
It is the military and the security agencies, after their meeting on uh, yesterday, decided that, look, some of the people who are dead are breadwinners of uh, this community, although they don't want any kind of compensation because some of them, especially those of them who are Muslims, were saying that it's the will of Allah, uh, but there should be, there is a need to help them at least get through this particular problem, uh, medically and of course otherwise, to keep them, you know, from suffering uh, what has happened. So they can do that. They can do that. And at the same time, uh, there are other things they could do and which is major. And that is try and clear out the bandits. Clear them out. We've been fighting these bandits for years. And look at where it has brought us to. You know, we need to clear them out right from when uh, former President Buhari was in power. These bandits have been there. As, as, a, security, as a security expert, are you talking about clearing them out? How can they do this? How can they find a lasting solution to clearing these bandits out? Because it's been a major menace in the country. Well, uh, I think uh, one of the ways of clearing them out is what happened on uh, Sunday night, whereby they were, uh, you know, attacking them and then, you know, trying to decimate their numbers. And of course, the military has got some wins. This is not even the first one. Uh, they've got some wins where they've even captured their leaders, um, decimated them where they were hiding in their enclaves and stuff like that. That can be done. Number two is the dialogue side of it where um, I don't think it worked out very well. Um, talk with them and then send them out of the country because some of them are not from this country. They are not Nigerians. You know, so there is need also to make sure, maybe we can use the carrot and stick that the military is using now, deal with them up to the extent that they are ready to talk, and then when they are ready to talk, tell them that, okay, it's high time you will leave this place al alone. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Dennis Amakri. Thank you for having me. We've been discussing with Dennis Amakri on the issue of the bombardment that happened in Kaduna State. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.